Okay, one of the weirdest things about the French horn is how to hit different notes. Now there's a few things that have to happen. We've got the fingerings, which we talked about, but then we also have the air is going to change and the lips are going to change depending on what you're doing. So the higher you go, the faster the air is. The lower you go, the slower the air is. Is high is low. And if you put your hand in front, you actually kind of feel that and it's going to help you kind of understand as we're going. Okay. So the air goes faster. Sometimes we just blow more air and that gets louder. So make sure it's faster, not more as you go. The other thing is the aperture. So the whole where the sound comes out of gets smaller as you go higher. So think of it this way. Our mouthpiece is a lot smaller than a tuba mouthpiece because we play a lot higher. So the hole that we're kind of using and the area that's buzzing, is going to be smaller. So for the highest notes, it's a very, very tiny straw. Think of it as one of those coffee stir sticks that you're blowing through. For a medium sized note, it's about the back of the mouthpiece. So like a regular size straw is the area that's buzzing. And then for the really low notes, it's kind of like a big straw that you would use for a slushy. So to play a low note, just relax. Just like you're blowing bubbles and let the air go really slow and kind of let a lot of your lips buzz. So the hole, that aperture, is a little bit bigger in that case. For a medium note, just let the air out kind of at a medium speed and a little bit smaller hole. And for high, we're gonna let the air go really fast and let that hole be smaller. As you go higher, you don't want your lips to be tighter, but you want your corners maybe to give you a little more help. So they kind of come in a little bit, kind of like you're puckering up or doing a bit of a fish face. That's strong, so this can be soft. So one of the easiest things that you can do is just mess around a bit. Try and change the speed of the air and change sort of how much of your lips are buzzing and see if you get some higher and lower notes. Start messing around with it and see what you get. It's the easiest way to learn.